Hello everyone, hope you all guys are healthy and fit at your home. Dear students, today we are going to discuss Unit 6 Physical Education of Class 12 which is Test and Measurement in Sports. What is Test and Measurement and why it is required? Test and Measurement in Physical Education are the device uh, that are necessary to collect uh, the uh, details regarding the requirements, okay, abilities and uh, attitude of a sports person that's why this test and measurement is required now what is it let's know a little more about it a test is basically a situational uh, representation where specified responses are collected from the subject these responses are measured both qualitatively and quantitatively okay measurement is about collection of data of performance or task completed by a sports person by using test and scientific technique so what is it it is a uh, collection of data of a subject subject is here a sports person or a student okay so if you want to know more about test and measurement and evolution i already prepared one video you can check this video uh, i have given the link in the description you can check there now let's move the our main topic of the day okay now let's move to our today's topic which is motor fitness test we will talk about some uh, different motor fitness test but first you know what is motor fitness what is it that motor fitness uh, is a term that describes sports person's ability ability to perform effectively during the sports and uh, games okay or uh, physical movement and activity so what is it it is a ability it, with the help of this uh, fitness motor fitness test we used to check the ability of a uh, sports person during the sports and the activities okay now we are going to talk some of the activities motor fitness uh, test so our first test is 50 meter standing start test what is this test let's know about it so first we will know what is the purpose of this test this test name is 50 meter standing start test purpose of this test is the aim of this test is to determine acceleration and speed what is the purpose of this test the aim is to determine acceleration and speed of a subject of a uh, sports person or a student okay this is the purpose this this uh, the question can be asked like this what is the purpose of this test so the purpose is determine acceleration and speed okay uh, like this other test have their uh, other purposes okay the next what are the equipments are required for this test let's know equipments measuring tape or mark track okay we need what measuring tape and mark track now stopwatch we need and cone marker flat and clean surface of at least 70 meter yes it is a uh, 50 meter standing start test okay so we need what uh, flat and clean surface of at least 70 meter okay we need at least 70 meter so this is the purpose these are the equipments let's know then more about it what is the procedure for it and what is the scoring and results in it pre-test what is pre-test pre-test means preparation before the test which type of preparation we need before the test so let's know first is explain the test procedure to the subjects means to the students or to the athlete whosoever is going to perform that test we must explain the test procedure to them prepare form and record sheets yes uh, forms and record sheets uh, generally used for their uh, general details and the results general details like age okay their height weight name class okay and their gender these things we used to uh, we need for these things forms and record sheets so these things are also prepared before the test next is measure the mark out the test area yes we need the mark ground before the test next is perform uh, an appropriate warm up yes this instruction should be given to all the participants to perform first proper warm up then only participate in the test so this is three tests preparation before test now let's know what is the procedure for it procedure now let's know what is the procedure for 50 meter standing start test okay procedure is the test 
involves running a single maximum sprint over 50 meter with the time recorded okay what we used to do we used to do the sprint of 50 meter sprint means maximum speed okay with the time recorded we will record the time of every participants next they start from a stationary standing position yes this is the important thing here we cannot take here count start or uh, start with the blocks we, we can we will start here only with the standard standing position we cannot touch our hands in the ground okay our uh, leg one or one leg should be in the front another will be in the back of it so next is this is the same the front foot must be behind the starting line yes the front foot must be behind the starting line Start, our leg should not touch to the starting line once the subject is ready subject means the participants whosoever is participating the subject is ready the starter gives the instruction set then go okay once he is ready he is motionless then the starter gives the instruction for set they all ready then go okay participants should be increased to, uh, to not slow down before the finishing line yes the every participants should be increased motivated do not uh, slow down before the finishing line so that they can give their best so this is the procedure of this test 50 meter standing start test now let's know what is the result what is the uh, how we collect the results of it results now how to calculate the results let's know two tries are allowed and best time should be recorded in seconds what we used to do we used to give two tries okay two tries we used to give to the every participants and whatever the best result out of these two that will be recorded in the seconds the timing starts from the first movement okay uh, when we are using stopwatch then the timing will start with the uh, first movement whatever the first movement of the athlete or when the timing system is strict okay what what is the in, uh, in these days in the, this, there is an advanced uh, option okay just uh, the starter will trigged he will fire the timing will auto automatically starts okay so this is the uh, timing system is trick next is and finishes when the chest crosses the finish line if you are using uh, stop pause the athlete will finish the end line with the chest his chest will cross we will stop the timing and uh, line or the finishing finishing timing gate is trick. what happens in the automatic system there is a proper gate or a line these days okay the athlete finishes that line that he touches that gate the timing is already stopped so this is the automatic system so uh, the, this is how we collect the results of the different athletes i hope you understood about the 50 meter standing uh, start test now let's know what is next test okay after the 50 meter standing start test now i'm going to tell you about the 600 meter run walk test what is this test what is its purpose okay and objectives so let's know about it so the purpose of this test purpose of the six meter run walk test is to measure the aerobic fitness of the athlete what we used to do we used to check we used to measure the aerobic fitness aerobic fitness of a athlete okay this is the purpose now what is the objective of it objective is cover 600 meter distance as fast as possible what we used to do in this test the, uh, the objective of our uh, participants is to cover 600 meter distance as fast as possible okay next is equipments required which equipments are required for this test now let's know the first is running track we need one running track okay it can be a straight or it can be a oval shape next is marking cone okay we need marking cones uh, rec uh, recording seats in which we record different uh, uh, things okay related to the athletes their age gender and all okay next is stop watch to measure the timing so these are these equipments are required for this test this is purpose objective and equipments now let's know what is the procedure for it what is the process how to conduct this test procedure for 600 meter run walk test what is the procedure for it let's know 600 meter run walk test can be organized on track 
ओके सब्जेक्ट रन डिस्टेंस ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड मीटर वट है सब्जेक्ट मीन पार्टिसिपेंट एथलीट रन कवर्स सिक्स हंड्रेड मीटर डिस्टेंस ओके द सब्जेक्ट टेक्स अ स्टैंडिंग स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग लाइन ओके हेयर ऑल्सो अ सब्जेक्ट एथलीट अ पार्टिसिपेंट विल टेक द स्टैंडिंग स्टार्ट इज नॉट अलाउड टू टेक द स्टार्ट वाइल सिटिंग ओके यू कैन नॉट टच इज हैंड्स ऑन द ग्राउंड the subject may walk in between but here he can walk in between okay uh, it is a distance of 600 meter he can start fast but he can walk in between again he can start fast so this he can do for this he is allowed time in which he covers the distance that will be the results yes the result is in uh, time whatever the time he is taking uh, for taking the distance that will be the result that will will be the mark or that it will be recorded on the record sheet okay so uh, this is the proce uh, procedure and the results of the 600 meter walk test i hope you understood about uh, these both test the first test and the second test so that's all for today uh, thank you be happy be healthy